Historically, Earth observation data has been unaffordable, inaccessible, and fairly fragmented. It's easy to understand why, though. Imagine thousands of sensors in space, and you, somebody who's never used satellite data before, needs to access data coming from those sensors. What are you gonna do? Well, you're probably gonna start by, uh, with a quick Google search. You're probably gonna search for satellite companies, probably gonna try to understand what exactly a multi-spectral image is. And you're probably gonna want a, uh, a long research, a uh, long run of research for, for a few weeks. There is a lot of friction between getting data from a sensor in space to your computer, for example. There are many different companies that own and operate those satellites. There are many different ground stations that process and make that data available to the satellite companies. And there's a number of different methods formats and systems and processes that various companies use to store, manage, and distribute that data. It's a very complex world, extremely complex. Our goal here at Skywatch is to abstract all that complexity. Here at Skywatch, we like to use a term called undifferentiated heavy lifting. In business terms, that is what we would refer to as the cost of building your business but those costs not adding any competitive advantage or value to your company. They're the sort of things that we have to do to build a company or that we have to do to go to market. 15 years ago, if you were gonna build a technology company, cloud computing was likely not your first option. In fact, you were likely to build your own servers, your own data warehouses, and a lot of your own hardware systems to support your business. There was a lot of capital expenses you would have to put up front just to go to market and launch your product. Today, cloud computing serves that need. It's taken what has traditionally been a fixed upfront cost and converted it into a variable cost that scales with your business. Now, any company with just a few hundred dollars can build and launch their product. This has greatly accelerated the development of the technology startup landscape and the number of products and services that are available to us today. Similar problems exist if you're building an Earth observation company. Right now, if you wanna launch a satellite and make that data available to customers, there is a lot of upfront expense that you have to incur before doing so. And I'm not just talking about the launch costs or the manufacturing costs. You have to find a ground station provider who you can downlink your data to you have to figure out where you're going to store your data, how you're going to manage it, how you're going to distribute it. And of course, you have to find customers. This tends to cost companies tens of millions of dollars before they even find their first dollar of revenue. It's the primary reason why so many companies struggle to get off the ground, both literally and figuratively. And then we go over to the demand side. Imagine you're a customer who wants to leverage this data. I think a good analogy for Earth observation is in the world of communications. 10, 15 years ago, if you wanted to integrate a communication capability into your software. You didn't really have a good means of doing so. What do I mean by that? Well, let's look at some use cases and examples that we take for granted today. When your Uber driver arrives, you get a text message. When your food is delivered to your front door, you get a text message. Or how about when you're logging into a service that requires two-factor authentication? You need to have a passcode texted to your phone. All of these capabilities are enabled by a service called Twilio. Twilio is an abstraction layer across the entire telecommunications infrastructure that allows you to leverage those capabilities inside of your software with just a few lines of code. Prior to Twilio, however, if you wanted that capability in your software, you would go directly to a telecom provider. You would navigate your way through the business. You would figure out how you can get access to their, their capabilities, their infrastructure, and what exactly a business deal would look like or an arrangement would look like to leverage their infrastructure. That would probably take you anywhere from nine months to, to a year to accomplish. And then congratulations, you have one of hundreds of telecom providers available through your software, just another 199 to go. Twilio takes away all that hard work, all of that undifferentiated heavy lifting and enables any developer in the world with the ability to integrate those capabilities into their software with just a few lines of code. 
And that's exactly what the future of Earth observation should look like. You should be able to leverage any sensor in orbit with just a few lines of code. You shouldn't need to know anything about those sensors, who owns them, what capabilities they have. You just know that you have a problem to solve in your business, whether that's monitoring a pipeline, helping fight through a natural disaster, or many other use cases. And you just need those sensors to solve those problems.